I was kind of surprised that Bitcoin only made an all-time high at 68,000. I thought it was going to go much higher. It's very hard to predict the future, but historically we've seen very accurate four-year cycles. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also many things uh, uh, in the world that are four years. Uh, the Bitcoin halving is every four years. Um, the United President's election is every four years. Um, the stock market goes through a four-year cycle as well. If you look, if you look at it historically, so uh, uh, it doesn't mean that the next cycle will be exactly four years. Um, but um, I think there is a pretty decent probability that that might happen. Um, and uh, but if we look at all the other different things that you that you just mentioned that you said are different, the inflation, the war, everything else, those things should really help the crypto industry. Those things should really push people to want the inflation should push people to want to hold a limited supply asset. Mm -hmm. So um, the war and the, uh, the, the the more the world is divided, um, the more that the Bitcoin is a very global currency that actually shines. Um, so the more the uh, the more those issues happen, um, the more people should need well, the, the advantages of uh, crypto blockchain is actually more clear. So um, yeah, to be honest, to be very frank, I was kind of surprised that Bitcoin only made an all-time high at 68,000. I thought it was going to go much higher. Uh, mm -hmm. But again, uh, I was wrong. So um, I'm, I'm never good at predictions. Um, but all of those things, in theory, should help crypto. But the fact that right now we're going through a winter is kind of surprising to me. Uh, but again, uh, no, no one can predict markets. I can't. Um, but logics uh, do work in the long run. So that's my experience. What, what, what if, CZ, um, it takes a long time for crypto to repair, right? So like, as you said, we're used to these like four year cycles. And so I put out a tweet the other day and I just asked people, um, w w what do you guys think? Uh, how much longer will the bar bear market go? One year, two years, three years, or five plus years, right? 80% of crypto Twitter people said two years or less. That's what everyone's expecting. But as David was saying, this might not be the case this time. What if we're in for, and I'm optimistic that it is, of course, you know, this is bankless, we're, we're perma bulls, we're never going to be bearish on this space. But um, what if it lasts a bit longer? What if we're talking about like four years, five years, and we're still not back to Bitcoin and ETH all time highs? Um, what happens to the industry? Does it wither away and die or are we going to be okay? I think we're going to be totally okay. Um, <clears throat> there are a group of people, there are a very large group of people that I know that is not going away. Um, so there are some, you know, new investors that get that gets, you know, shocked, surprised, fear, and they they they, uh, they go away for a while. But um, pretty much of all the people I know who are who are here, who are here since 2017, those guys is going to stay. And um, as as a business, um, I would recommend most businesses have at least 10 years of runway, 10 years of cash if they have zero income. Uh, very few traditional companies uh, can achieve that, but in the blockchain world, um, it's actually not that hard to achieve. Um, you know, Binance, we have, we ha like the Binance coin is about $40 billion market cap. Uh, we, uh, we have the team portion we never used and we do commit to, you know, burn that. Um, and, but we also have income, like even the team portion is was, you know, double digit billion dollars. Um, so most crypto companies sit on this, if they manage well, they could be sitting on this really large cash reserve. So, uh, um, and, and, and even if we don't touch that, we actually still, that aside, we actually still have very healthy reserves that will last us many years. So uh, um, they are, and also in the business, in the crypto business, um, they are very clear, very simple business models. Um, you should have revenue, and um, um, and because we're dealing with um, crypto money, um, we're dealing with this industry. It's actually not difficult for good businesses to make money. So um, I think just sustain sustainability-wise, many businesses in this industry can sustain for a very, very long time. Um, so um, I'm not too worried about it. Number one is it's, it's not like win or not is not succeed or not like we're we're all here persistently consistently pushing forward mm -hmm. sometimes a bit faster sometimes a bit slower depending on overall market conditions macroeconomics and other factors um, but we're all here we're, we're not going anywhere we're just consistently and per persistently pushing this industry forward um so i think 10 20 years from now well 20 years from now um People, people be using like people are using blockchain crypto uh, the way they use the internet without mentioning it. Today, I don't say like, hey, I'm gonna use the internet to message you. Uh, we just use it, like, no, we just we just use it. 
uh, there, there's many different applications on it. So I think 10, 20 years, we will get there. 10 years might still be a little bit tough, to be honest. Uh, even if you look at the internet today, uh, when we talk about video conferencing, sometimes still doesn't work that well. Um, and um, so, uh, but I think uh, eventually, like people shouldn't be talking about blockchains. People shouldn't be talking about consensus, nodes, and all this other geeky stuff. People should be like, hey, I'm sending you some money. Uh, hey, I'm doing a fundraising globally. Uh, I'm selling my art globally. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hire some. I'm gonna hire a trainer, uh, fi uh, fitness trainer in the metaverse. Um, so uh, yeah, so um, all of those things should, should come naturally uh, and without mentioning any technology. We will get there. It's just a matter of time. <laughs>